Well, well, what has the cat dragged in today? It's a tutorial sequence on making a stealth game. Now, in keeping with this channel's theme, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to make the next Hitman or the next Metal Gear Solid game. No, no, no. This is going to be a very straightforward, very simplistic, but functional, sneak around the guards and get to the goal type of game. Now, as far as to what exactly this will look like from a player's perspective, we are going to create a character controller with some good old-fashioned tank controls. We'll have some animation going. We will have these lovely little guards that if you enter their vision cone, they will come and catch you. And if you are hiding behind a wall, they will not be able to see you. So if I'm hiding behind this wall here, vision cone sweeps through and nothing happens. And the goal is to find your pet chicken. This is right over here. When you find your pet chicken, you win. And that's it. That's the project. Nice, simple, straightforward. Well, something that you can get done in a day, honestly. Now, as you can tell, we're going to need some asset packages for this one. We could conceivably do everything with just the basic Unity stuff, have capsules sliding around and the basic Unity cube for the level layout and such. But there's a couple of concepts that I want to introduce uh, specifically with regards to animations because we really need to start talking about those. So we're going to need a couple of asset packages. And so the three that we are going to be using are the Polygon Starter Pack, Basic Motions Free, and the Mesh Tent Free Chicken. The Polygon Starter Pack is from Senti Studios, and they have a lot of really good stuff as far as prototyping tools go. Personally, I would never use their stuff in a commercial project, not because of the quality. The quality in all of their stuff is awesome. I own almost every fantasy-themed set that they have, and I have no issues with the quality at all. But it's a very distinct visual style, so your game is going to look like everybody else's game that happens to use their assets. So phenomenal prototyping stuff. Absolutely phenomenal. Well worth the dollars. But in this particular case, we're going to grab their little free starter pack here, for the little bits and pieces for creating a level and for these characters as well. Now, the Sinti Studio stuff does not come with animations. So for that, we are going to need to use the Basic Motions Free package. Again, Kevin here. I have no idea how to pronounce that last name. I'm not going to try. Does some really good animation stuff. Again, I have the paid version of the Advanced uh, Motions Pack. Absolutely no quibbles with the quality there. But this Basic Motions Free package will get us all of the animations we need, which is precisely three animations. We're not going hog on this. And then finally, for the goal, uh, mainly because this has got to be the most absolute adorable chicken on the entire asset store, you are welcome to your opinion otherwise, but you are objectively wrong. This is the most adorable chicken on the asset store. And so this is going to be our goal, this absolutely adorable little chicken that we have to find and rescue. Now, make sure that you have these asset packages associated with your account. So you would log in to the, system, to the web interface here and you would add it to your assets. And upon getting these associated with your account, you're going to want to make sure that you create a new Unity project, that you go into the Package Manager, that you go into the My Assets category, and you import, or first download, then import, these packages into your project. The three folders you should end up with upon doing this is the Kevin folder, the Mesh Tent folder, and the Polygon Starter folder. Make sure that you have those three folders ready to go before starting the next video. 
And with that, I will close out this video. I will be starting the next video in a brand new project. So it's going to look a little bit different from what you see right here. Just to give you a heads up on that. And let's get this stealth game created. Until next time.